Custom visuals are a really great way of extending the visualization capabilities in Power BI. Typically, an end user is going to go to the Power BI marketplace to go and find those custom visuals and download them. But you can also specify custom visuals to be published through the organizational marketplace so that your users can only have access to those visuals you want them to. Perhaps you want to vet them and make sure they're not sending any data to any third-party sites, um, or you have something that's available just internally that you, uh, that's your own IP that you want to distribute to your users. You can do that through that organizational marketplace. Let me show you how. So when you come to the Power BI admin portal, and you do need to be a Power BI tenant admin for this, um, go to your settings options and go to admin portal, you'll see a tab here for organizational visuals. And I can choose um, the custom visual to upload from here. So I need to select a PBI viz file. I've actually got one that I downloaded from the, uh, from the public store. Uh, so let's take our dot plot. And I can give it a name. This can be a different name that's specified in the file. Uh, and I can upload an icon or image as well um, to go along with it. So this is um, my description. And when I hit add, this PBI viz file is going to get uploaded to the Power BI service and is going to be available for distribution to, uh, to users inside your organization. I can get back to uh, edit those settings again, uh, and I can delete it so that it's no longer available um, uh, through here too. So if I'm now uh, playing the role of an end user who's uh, building their reports, uh, in the same way that I would have done before, I can choose to import, this, um, uh, import a visual from uh, the marketplace. And I'll see here not only the public marketplace, but also an option for visuals from my organization. And now I can see that dot plot that I uploaded and add this one to my report too. So it will download the, uh, uh, the PBI vis file into this report, and I can use it just as I would do any other visual, um, uh, any other custom visual in my report. So I add some fields, I can build, some, uh, build a visual here. So that way I can uh, distribute and publish custom visuals just to people within my organization rather than having to put it out onto the public marketplace um, uh, and, and make people go and download it from there.